This segment is sponsored by the Centers for Advanced Orthopedics. The Centers for Advanced Orthopedics is the leading provider of comprehensive musculoskeletal care in the region. And today we're talking about everything you need to know about toe pain from toenail fungus to calluses, how to walk or run safely to avoid causing damage to your feet. We are joined by Dr. Gurvikram Boparai, who is a podiatrist. Welcome into Great Day Washington. Thank you for having me. Okay, something probably that a lot of people have dealt with, right? Let's start with toenail fungus. That seems to be very common. How do you get it? Yes, you can pick it from a variety of places. Um, unfortunately, it's very common, as, as a lot of people know. You can pick it from pools, uh, there's locker rooms, nail salons. Again, I'm oh, not yeah. going to tell anyone not to get their nails done, but it's a common place where you can pick it up. Uh, you see it a lot in high school athletes as well. Um, so it's very common, it's everywhere. Um, but as I usually say with fungus, where with the toenail fungus, if you have a discoloration on your toenail, uh, you notice something is off, get an opinion because um, early detection can be helpful with this, with the topical management. So topical that avoids maybe losing the toenail and, and it continuing on, right? Correct, yeah. So, I mean, there's over-the-counter topicals you can get for antifungal creams and they can help. And a lot of times patients will come in that they have a white spot on their toenail and we usually start them on a couple of prescription medications and um, with toenail fungus, unfortunately, it can take a long time for it to clear. So you have to be patient with it. Uh, I recommend using it consistently for several months before you see some results. Okay. Uh, but again, early on, the earlier you catch it, the earlier you come in, the better results you're going to see. If we have a discolored toenail, can we paint our toenail to cover it up? What's so the rule on that? It's a very good question. <laughs> you can, again, I won't tell you not to paint your toenails, uh, but the absorption of the topical is a little better without the, okay. the nail polish, but it still works. I usually say alternate a little bit. If you're going to have a week right. on, try a week off where you're aggressive with the medication, uh, and that can help with the results as well. Okay, good to know. All right. Um, people wearing maybe improper shoes, uh, wearing them incorrectly, calluses, bunions, all those things happen. What do our viewers need to know just in terms of if they start to see something? Sure, Feels yeah, like uh, shoes can cause a lot of problems as well. Uh, you know, regularly changing your shoes can be helpful. Um, if you're a runner, I uh, recommend every three to six months you change your shoes as okay. well because that can help more uh, padding underneath and you'll see a lot of calluses. If you have calluses, you can try inserts, which can help uh, more padding. Uh, with that, a lot of runners will also see some ingrown toenails because the shoes narrow up front. Um, athletes will see that as well, um, and people in general, if they're not cutting their toenails properly, will see that. Um, so prevention is, is always helpful in these situations. So wider shoes can be helpful. Okay. Padding underneath, using inserts can be helpful. All right, and then what about plantar fasciitis? We hear about that all the time, especially with runners and athletes. Yeah, it's a very common issue. Um, I see that every day in my practice, and um, everyone, I tell them to do two things. Stretch, 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 and actually five things. Stretch, 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 stretch. <laughs> so the more stretching you do, that can be helpful with plantar fasciitis. Okay. And the, the first symptom that most people say with the heel pain is, they woke up in the morning and they felt like someone stabbing them on the heel yeah. because it's so painful. Um, so it's an inflammation injury. Uh, it can be uh, the band on the bottom of the foot that attaches to the heel bone is inflamed and it's tight. So you need anti-inflammatory medications to help with that. You need stretching to help with that, proper shoes. And if all these things fail, sometimes we do corticosteroid injections, um, physical okay. therapy, which at CAO we have that as part of our branch as well. So we can usually refer to a therapist nearby as well. As I say, when do we know to come see a doctor? A lot of people will try managing at home where right. it's been a couple of days or a couple of weeks of pain. Uh, I recommend the earlier the better just to prevent it from getting worse, but a lot of times patients will wait till they're limping, so don't do that. <laughs> um, just if there's pain that's not going away with uh, topical or over-the-counter medications like Advil, Tylenol, you're stretching, you've tried shoe changes, it's not going away, that's a good time to come in. Okay, I feel like getting to it first, get rid of it, right, and get it all done. Doctor, thank you so very much. Thank we you appreciate you. For more information or to make an appointment, just go to cfaortho.com.